Think you know everything there is to know about coffee? Think again. From Ludwig van Beethoven being a barista's worst nightmare, to a coffeehouse staple that originated in World War II, there's a lot more than you think. So pour yourself a cup of joe, and get ready for 10 things you need to know about coffee right now. Hey, would you like some joe? Coffee fact number one. Why do they call it a cup of joe? One theory suggests it originated after U.S. Secretary of the Navy Joseph Daniels outlawed alcohol on Navy ships in 1914. But it's more likely that coffee is a drink for everyone, also known as the average Joe. Coffee fact number two. Ludwig van Beethoven would have been a barista's worst nightmare. Every morning, he hand-counted exactly 60 beans for his coffee. An average cup of coffee is made with about 70 beans, so Beethoven's coffee would have been a little bit weak for most people's taste. Coffee fact number three. Coffee is most effective if you drink it between 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. The human body is naturally most alert between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning after rolling out of bed. Drinking coffee when the body is already naturally alert won't have the desired effect. But don't wait too long. The body is also naturally more alert between noon and 1 and 5 and 6 p.m. That's why most people need an afternoon cup of coffee to get through the rest of the day. Coffee fact number four. Drip coffee has more caffeine than espresso. A two ounce shot of espresso has between 60 and 100 milligrams of caffeine, whereas a 12 ounce cup of drip coffee has between 95 and 180 milligrams of caffeine. Speaking of espresso, coffee fact number five. Why do they call it an Americano? When Americans were stationed in Italy during World War II, they wanted a cup of coffee. But Italians don't drink coffee the way Americans do. They drink espresso. But the American soldiers didn't want espresso. They wanted drip coffee. So they had to take the espresso and water it down. The Italians would point and laugh and say, L'Americano non riesce a gestire il suo caffè, which roughly translates to, the Americans can't handle their coffee. So when they came home after the war, they kept making it. People would say, what do you call that? And they would say, well, when we made it back in Italy, people would point at us and say, Americano. So I guess that's what they call it. And the name stuck. Coffee fact number six. Ben Franklin used to hang out at coffee shops before it was cool. He played chess, engaged in conversation, and even had his mail delivered to his favorite London coffee shop. When he traveled, he always took his own coffee beans with him. Coffee fact number seven. Theodore Roosevelt drank a gallon of coffee every day while he was president. It's said that he sometimes had more than 40 cups per day. Even though I'm dead, I still drink a gallon and a half. Coffee fact number eight. Adding cream keeps your coffee hot longer. Cream increases viscosity, which means it adds thickness, and it lightens the color so it doesn't release as much heat. Simply put, coffee with cream retains heat longer than black coffee. Coffee fact number nine. Coffee Luwak, the world's most expensive coffee, consists of partially digested coffee beans. In Indonesia, a wild animal known as the Asian palm civet eats the plant that coffee beans come from, but they can't digest the actual beans. They pass through the civet system, and coffee farmers collect the beans from the civet's feces. Coffee fact number 10. Once roasted, a coffee bean increases in volume, but decreases in weight like popcorn. I don't recommend making coffee with popped popcorn. If you liked this video, please subscribe. And remember the most important part of the workday, the coffee break.